guess what? Today we're going on a train in Ghana for the first time. I'm so excited. So I arrived at the train station at 10 minutes to 6 a.m. The train is due to depart at 6.15. When I got there, it was already there waiting. One thing to know about this station is you need to park just on a side road or something because they do not have designated car parking spots for people that are traveling on the train. The train is already here, as you can see. Usually it leaves at 6.15. We're a little bit early, so I'm not sure. Maybe it's just here early, but we're gonna get on it in a minute. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. We've got one of the older ones today, but yeah, let's go and get on and share our experience with you. Let's go. Oh. I decided to come to the second class. The only difference is the seating. Basically, these seatings are a little bit more close together, and you don't get a tray like a serving tray, and you don't get a what's called the adjustable seats as well. This is just a regular chair. So these were five CDs. First class is seven CDs. As you saw, someone got annoyed with us for no bloody reason. They don't own the train, I'm sure. Anyways, we're on the train now, so let's go. You guys, it feels like I'm in the 1950s because the train is so bloody old, but um, yeah, it's a convenient way of traveling if you want to not deal with traffic. this time because I wanted to show you what second class looks like but I don't think I want to sit here throughout the ride so we're going to change and move into the the first class so that um, yeah we can be comfortable because it's a bit of a long ride so yeah but this is basically what the train looks like it's a very comfortable ride if you want to avoid traffic just get on the train and it's so much easier so the train leaves on time guys it left at, so it left at 6 15 exactly 6 15 at the time it was supposed to leave we're in first class these chairs are definitely more comfortable so i moved to first class i bought the seven cds ticket and moved to first class yes so let's go i hope you guys enjoy the ride with me so far so good so far very comfortable um yeah let's see how long it takes us to get all the way to accra central so it's gonna take an hour and 11 minutes by car to get to Kantamantu and as you can see it's on red so that means there's gonna be traffic and that can be a bit unpredictable like the traffic conditions might change on your way there yeah and as you guys can, can hear the train keeps beeping because people tend to walk around the railway lines because the trains here don't move that often it moves once a day so it moves early in the morning at 6 15 and it returns from Accra at I think 5.15 or something like that. So because the train lines are not, are not very active, sometimes you get people walking around them all the time. So the train keeps beeping, you know, to make sure it's safe for it to keep going. I'm not gonna lie, when I lived in Sydney, I rarely ever got on the train because, you know, sometimes it's dirty and stuff like that. So, but yeah, this one is actually very clean. It's not dirty, it's just very old. There are newer trains in some of the other stations. Yeah, so basically the train departs from the harbour in Comte 1 and then it's, its final stop is Accra Central Kantamantu Market. We've made it to Sakumono Station. See, these are some of the newer tra trains or the ones that have been done up. Um, but they're not moving at the moment, so yeah. So this is Sakumono Station, our first stop. Let's see what our next stop is. It took us about 10 minutes to get to this stop. Yeah. The great thing about being on trains is you can fall asleep if you want. You can read a book, wherever it is, rather than sit in traffic. And it's less exhausting, you know what I mean? Yeah. So 
So we've made it to our second stop. So there are a few stations and then there are points where it's just a stop. It's not like a proper station. So Sakuwana was an actual station. This stop we're at right now is just a stop. It's not a, it's not a proper station. Yeah. So this stop is Greater Estates in Spintex. So yeah, if, we're, if we were in a car going to Spintex by this time, the traffic would be crazy. So definitely the train is a more convenient option for sure. Let's see what the next stop is. So we're at our third stop. This is not a proper train station either. This area is Odogono. Uh, if it wasn't for this train ride, I wouldn't even know where Odogono is. I've never heard of it or anything like that. But it's clearly not far from Spintex Road. to our fourth stop which is Bachona station this is a proper station as well this is not just a regular stop it's an actual uh, station with you know a sign with seating with an entryway and everything yeah and you notice there's a few houses um, with their gates facing the um, train as well which is interesting because I'm like were they built before the train lines were put in place or vice versa because I mean aside from the views it would be super super loud and I don't even know how safe it is as well but anyway still enjoying my train ride relaxing and just like watching the world go by I think I think spending on a day on the train just for fun will be nice especially if you have kids but I don't know if um, you know doing it on a daily basis for work will be interesting enough yeah but I guess it's more relaxing and less tiring in comparison to if you have to drive so they come around and they inspect your ticket so make sure you don't throw it away um, there's a guy that, like, picks, that takes it and uh, splits it in half just so another person can't use it again because I don't want to disturb anyone <laughs> I don't want to disturb anybody on the train but yeah we're at airport this is another stop not a proper station yeah. so we've made it to our next stop this is Alajo um, yeah so this is not a proper station either it's just a stop where people get on yeah. We're moving to, I think the next station is Achimota Station. That is a proper station where, you know, there's the platforms, there's, there's the walkways, there's places to sit, that whole shebang, yeah. So we've made it to the Achimota Station. This is a proper station, looks really nice. You know, once all the stations are done, it's gonna look really, really good. Um, it's just like, at the moment, everything is still um, in the process of being constructed and even though a lot of the trains are old, I feel like it was the same in the West. I remember being in Sydney and having to go on some really old trains and there were some really new ones as well. It just depended on what was happening at the time and what trains were available. But yeah, I think they're getting some new ones in in a couple of weeks, but this line is still using the old one as you can see. But it's still very comfortable. You just feel like you're in a different time. That's all. Like it's, it's nice. It's a nice experience. I'm loving it so far. But I also don't have to go on it every day. I'm sure that makes a difference, yeah. So the wait times at this station, these stations is not very long. Generally it stops for like some, the stops especially just stops for a few seconds. 
but at the station it stops for a, for a little bit longer maybe like five minutes depending on the stop so i guess people just know what time it comes yeah because there's no boards there stating exactly what time the train arrives so you kind of just have to know maybe go a day before and find out from the train station masters they usually kind of hang around the station or the stop so you can find out what time the train comes and then it makes it easier for you the beeping is so loud and annoying like i can't imagine living close to these train lines and i'm just wondering like why would you want to build next to the train tracks i'm sure when people built like the trains weren't operating so their assumption was it's not going to operate and now it's operating so we're on our way to i think circle is our next stop and i think that's a proper station and then the next one after that is our final stop which is Katamantu, yeah which is Accra central station basically yeah so we've made it to circle which is our last but one stop this is a proper station here as well and so is our final stop so most people get off here and obviously the final stop is where everyone gets off a lot of people that get on the train are people that are going to work generally speaking you won't necessarily see people just casually sitting on it yeah As you can see, the time now is 7.44. So it basically took us, I'll put it on the screen, I can't work it out. It was a very smooth ride, very comfortable, very relaxing. I hope you guys have enjoyed our little train ride all the way to Accra Central. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to follow your bliss so now life is short. Follow your bliss na nipa ye den. Follow your bliss na die be sibia ye and follow your bliss na den em. Take care guys. I will see you in the next one. We're basically in Accra Central so Katamata Market is not far from here. We're going to do a quick walk around before we get on a car and return back home. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I've come to the conclusion that I've basically turned into my mom, okay? It's like I can't go past groceries and not buy anything. She used to do that all the time when we were kids. Like, you know, you, you're going somewhere. You didn't plan on buying no groceries. Next minute she's like, oh, let me just buy tomatoes. Next minute you've been in the market for like an hour. That is me right now. Like, I just said, I need some uh, mangoes to buy, but I'm sure I'm gonna end up buying a lot of things. <laughs> so I've just made it back to my car. I need to let you know, once you come out of the train station in Accra Central, it takes a while to get a spot where you can easily get an uber so i just wanted to let you guys know you have to be prepared to walk a little bit you probably walk at least 15 minutes to a spot where you can easily get an uber um if you want to get a trotro as well there's that option there's a lot of trotros around depending on where you're going that shouldn't be too hard to 